सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन रिलेट्स मेथड और एनर्जी मेथड लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द शाफ्ट बाय यूजिंग रिलेट्स मेथड और एनर्जी मेथड इन दिस मेथड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एज वेल एज मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी देन दिस मैक्सिमम पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड देन वी विल गेट द फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट द फ्रीक्वेंसी नाउ वी विल कंसीडर वन शाफ्ट ऑफ निग्लिजिबल मास सो हियर इज द शाफ्ट ए बी हुज लेंथ इज एल नाउ देर आर थ्री पॉइंट लोन दैट इज डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू डब्ल्यू थ्री which is having deflection y1 y2 and y3 respectively now we will first calculate the maximum potential energy or it is also known as the strain energy so what is the formula so we have point load w and we have deflection y so potential energy or maximum potential energy is equal to half into this w multiplied by y so for this w1 y1 we will say half w1 y1 plus half w2 y2 plus half w3 y3 now this w we can rewrite as m1 into g that is mass multiplied by gravitational acceleration so half m1 g y1 plus half m2 g y2 plus half m3 g y3 so we will take g as a common half and g as a common term and this in the bracket we will get m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 so in short we will write here as a summation of m into y so this summation will depends on how many point loads are there suppose two point load then here is m1 y1 plus m2 y2 so it will depend on the number of point loads so here is the maximum potential energy half g summation of m into y now we will move to next maximum kinetic energy of the shaft so how to calculate maximum kinetic energy half multiplied by m multiplied by v that is velocity so half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square plus half m3 v3 square now how to redefine this v so velocity means this y multiplied by omega so we will define velocity is equal to deflection y multiplied by omega so v1 we will write as a y1 omega v2 we will write as a y2 omega and v3 we will write as a y3 omega so this omega term will remain same and for this square we have to take bracket square that is for y omega for whole bracket square now again if we observe we will take the common term as a half and omega square so half omega square and then summation of m1 y1 square that is plus m2 y2 square plus m3 y3 square so in short we will write here summation of m into y square so here is this this is the first equation and this is the second equation so if we equate these two equations then this half half is getting cancelled and this omega square is there so how to calculate omega we have to take square root so omega is equal to under root of g into summation of m y divided by summation of m into y square so this is the final formula to calculate omega by using relays method or energy method given question a simply supported beam is subjected to two point loads of masses 20 kg and 50 kg located at 1 meter and 2.5 meter from left hand end respectively the beam span is 5 meter find the lower natural frequency of transverse vibrations by using a relays method take e is equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per millimeter square and i is equal to 3.33 into 10 raised to 6 millimeter raised to 4 let us understand given data with the help of diagram mass m1 that is the point load 20 kg and this is placed at a distance of 1 meter from the left hand side then mass m2 is 50 kg and it is placed 2.5 meter from the left hand side total length of the shaft 5 meter is mentioned in the question so modulus of elasticity is given but it is in newton per millimeter square but standard unit 
is newton per meter square so how to convert it so we will write here as e is equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 divided by now this millimeter we will convert into meter that is 10 raised to minus 3 and here it's square so 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 so 10 raised to minus 6 is in the denominator so we will move it in the numerator so it will become 10 raised to 6 so 6 plus 5 that is 11 so 2.1 into 10 raised to 11 newton per meter square now mass moment of inertia of the shaft is mentioned in the question 3.33 into 10 raised to 6 millimeter raised to 4 so standard unit is meter raised to 4 so how to convert it so which is equal to 3.33 into 10 raised to 6 now this millimeter we will convert into meter that is into 10 raised to minus 3 meter and then we have to take its a fourth power because millimeter raised to 4. So here 4 multiplied by 3 that is 12. So here is minus 12 plus 6 that is minus 6. So 3.33 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter raised to 4 and we have to find out this frequency fn. Now we will first calculate deflection due to this 20 kilogram load. So this question is for relays method. So we will say this deflection due to this mass m1 is y1. What is the formula? So y1 is equal to. So deflection due to point load formula is same. W1 a square b square divided by 3 e i l. Now W1 that is mass M1 is given so M1 multiplied by G that is 20 multiplied by 9.81. Now we will calculate the distance A and B. So this is the point load. So if we observe the distance from the left hand side it is 1 meter and the distance from the right hand side it is 5 minus 1 that is 4. So 1 is the value of A and 4 is the value of B. So 1 square into 4 square. And 3 into E. So value of E calculated. Value of I is also calculated. And length is 5 meter. So if we calculate 2.9927 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter. Now in the same way we will calculate deflection due to point load 50 kilogram. So it is W2 A square B square by 3 E I L. So W2 is 15 to 9.8. A is this 2.5. This is the value of A and from the end B remaining 2.5 is the value of B. So when we calculate 1.82 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. By the relays method we have formula omega is equal to under root of G summation of my divided by summation of my square. So we will prepare here one table. Here is mass. So mass 20 kilogram for this mass M. There is deflection y 2.997 into 10 raised to minus 3. So what is the value of my? That is m multiplied by y. 5.98 into 10 raised to minus 3. And if we calculate m into y square then 1.7912 into 10 raised to minus 6. Now in the same way for the second mass we will take 50 kilogram. Here is the deflection y. Then we will calculate my and my square. Now we have to find out summation of m y that is m1 y1 plus m2 y2 so here is m1 y1 and this is the m2 y2 so i will write here m1 y1 and m2 y2 so we have to add these two that is summation of m y 0.09731 now in the same way here m1 y1 square and m2 y2 square so here summation of my square is 1.686 into 10 raised to minus 4. Now when we put these two values in the formula and g is equal to 9.81 then omega n that is natural frequency 75.24 radians per second. So here fn is equal to 2 pi omega n which is equal to 472 into 7856 hertz.